Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Frankfurt Arsenal bullet puller. <clears throat> it's a reloading tool. If you need, if you uh, say if you make a mistake, you put the wrong amount of powder, or if you have some malfunction with your reloaded ammunition, you can take it apart with one of these kinetic bullet pullers. That's basically a hammer. You uh, pound it onto a hard surface but not concrete, you should pound it on some hardwood. And it comes with, I'm gonna zoom in on this, comes with three different collets for different caliber bullets. Take a look at that. They have um, <clears throat> different rings on them. So you know which collet is which. Like this one has one ring in it. This one has two. This one has none, and they give you an extra O-ring. Each one of these little collets has an O-ring holding them together, and <clears throat> get your uh, direction sheet here. Give you a quick look at that. Shows you how to orientate your bullet and the way the collet goes in there, etc. And you get a little guide on on the bottom here for your different calibers which color to use. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking apart some ammunition just for fun here. I've got some of this um, <clears throat> Turkish Mauser ammunition. Hopefully I'll be able to get this apart. It looks like it's crimped pretty good. You can see those crimp marks on the bolt there. I'm going to weigh the bullet because I kind of want to, I'm curious to see what this bullet weighs when I coronate these they shot over 2,800 feet per second, so I'm kind of curious what the bullet weight is and what type of powder is inside. Okay, so when you get your ammunition, get the right size collet. Um, they didn't have 8 millimeter listed on there, but they had similar calibers to 8 millimeter listed with the number 2 collet. So you want to bring that collet right up to the rim of the bullet. <clears throat> And then you just drop it in with the flat side facing the uh, tool. Tighten down your cap. And then you can just start pounding. And it'll probably take quite a few hits to uh, dislodge your bullet. See if that's even budging. It looks like it has moved it moved out a little bit. The camera will focus here. Looks like it came out slightly. It's crimped pretty good. Not sure if there's a cantilever in this or it's just crimped that tightly. I'm gonna pound on that a little bit more. Let's see. Get it to come out. I think it came apart. Okay. Okay, got the scale all set here. I'm gonna dump the powder and the uh, pull it in there. We got most of the powder. A couple, a little bit spilled over. It looks like we have right about almost 47 grains of powder and let me just bring this up close to the camera here it's like a flake powder It's kind of unusual. It's uh, like <clears throat> square little flakes. Okay, so let's uh, let's rezero this. 
rotator button and we'll measure the bullet weight and oh well, that's a pretty light bullet it's 155.5 grains okay I put all the powder back into the case this Turkish ammunition you can see it fills the case all the way to the top so they loaded this <coughs> ammo to the max okay let's take a little closer look at the bullet it is magnetic and I'm guessing that's just basically a steel cased with a lead core and it looks like they just crimped the bullet really tight it doesn't really have a cantaloupe in it so there you go if you're <clears throat> if you find some of this Turkish ammunition with that head stamp you'll know it has a 155 grain bullet